Welcome back, guys. Well, next weekend, a lot of fans of beer and wine will be in Stafford, not at a restaurant, but at the Stafford Center for Brew and Vinos. It's a craft beer and wine festival. Joining us now is Neil Dorfman with the festival information. Good Hi. morning, Neil. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So you were telling us about the festival itself. Mm -hmm. So different and unique. Tell us why. First off, we're pr promoting and supporting charities, um, Sky High for St. Jude and Reach and Teach Ministries. So we really want to work with uh, charities that support children. I'm an education consultant and we're really passionate about working with children. Yeah. Um, we're providing people with an intimate event. It'll be small, it'll be quaint. We're also gonna have the Home and Garden Show behind us. So it'll be a really nice day for people to come out, enjoy some wine, some beer, food trucks. We're gonna have a professional chef, FP chefs out there providing uh, samples. Uh, it'll be a nice day for everyone. And it's different from a brew fest. You yes. Say. It's, it's yeah, we're going to have wine, beer. We're going to have the owners of the brewery, some of the owners of the wineries there. So people will actually be able to interact with them, ask them questions. What do I like? What I don't like? Where's your brewery located? How can we get there? Um, we're trying to create an intimate environment where people can engage with each other and not walk around and have to bump into other people. You know, we're, we're trying to create a, a nice environment for everyone. And for the husbands out there, we got a little good news for you. Yeah. So uh, the Home and Garden Show is behind us. So uh, I was joking earlier, the husbands can go to the beer fest and the yeah. wine fest, the women can go to the Home and Garden yeah. Show. So it's uh, interesting. Or uh, vice versa. Yeah, you vice know, versa. Don't discriminate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we were talking about some of the brews that we were going to have there. Tell us a little bit. You did bring some yeah. examples. Um, so some of the breweries we're going to have there, we're going to have Adelbert's Brewery from Austin. Uh, we're going to have Buffalo Bayou Brewery there from Houston. Uh, we've got Spindle Tap from Houston. Carbach, of course, from Houston. Uh, the Houston Winery also known as Water to Wine. Uh, they're going to be there. And of course, No Label uh, out in Katy is going to be there as well. Um, so we're going to have actually about 15 breweries there um, at about four wineries. Uh, it, it'll be a really good experience. The whole goal is for everyone to try different things and sample different things. But again, we really want to support those charities. Yeah, talk about those charities. Because so we want folks to help. Yeah, so this. so Sky High for St. Jude, it's a great charity. They work with uh, young kids. They provide money and resources for kids that can't afford uh, surgeries for treatment. Yeah, yeah that, I don't, that breaks my heart. Um, and then, of course, the Reach and Teach Ministries, what we do there, um, uh, they provide opportunities and business opportunities for students in middle schools and high schools uh, to learn how to get business skills for the real world. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, now let's tell folks where they can get more information. Yeah, uh, brewandvinos.com is uh, the website where you can get tickets. Uh, also, we have a Facebook page. We've got an Instagram page, a Twitter page. Uh, so yeah, the, the best way to get tickets would be brewandvinos.com. And again, uh, a portion of those proceeds do support the charities as well. Or no excuses. Yeah, all no right. excuses. Thank you so much, Neil. You can find all this info and a replay of the segment at clicktohouston.com after the show. It'll be posted under our video tab on our homepage. Anusha? Some great charities. Thanks, guys. Let's take a